Who might that be? It's the witch from next door. We, we have, have no bread. bread. Of course you have no bread. What do you wish? It's not what I wish, it's what you wish. Nothing cooking in there now, is there? The old enchantress went on to tell the couple that she had placed a spell on their house. What spell? In the past, when you were no more than a babe, your father brought his young wife and you to this cottage. They were a handsome couple, but not handsome neighbors. You see, your mother was with child. She developed an unusual appetite. She took one look at my beautiful garden and told your father what she wanted more than anything in the world was greens, greens, and nothing but greens. Parsley, peppers, cabbage, and celery, asparagus, and watercress, and fiddlebirds, and lettuce. He said, all right, but it wasn't quite, because I caught him in the yard in my garden one night. He was robbing me, raping me, rooting through my root of mango, raining my root There. Could have turned him into a stone, or a rock, or a chair, or a sn But I don't want the rabbit and I had lots to spare. In turn, however, I said, fair is fair. You can let me have the baby that your wife will bear. And we'll call it square. I had a brother? No! But you had a sister. But the witch refused to tell him any more of his sister. Not even that her name was Rapunzel. She went on. I thought I'd been more than reasonable, and that we might all live happily ever after. But how was I to know that your father had also hidden in his pocket? Beads! Beads! beads. My father's beads! I let him go, I didn't know he'd stolen my beads! I was watching crawl back over the wall, went bang, crash, the lightning flash! Well, that's another story, never mind. Anyway, at last the big day came, and I made my claim. I don't take out my baby! They shrieked and screeched, but I did, and I hit her where she'll never be reached. Your father cried, your mother died, and for extra measure, I admit it was a pleasure. I said, sorry, I'm still not mollified, and I laid a little spell on them. You too, son. <laughs> that your family tree would always be a barren one. <laughs> so there's no more fuss, and there's no more seeds in my garden thrive. should see my nectarines, but I'm telling you the same I tell kings and queens. So never, ever, ever mess around with my greens. Oh, especially the beans! 